The red-tailed hawk, Boido jamaicensis, with its unique hunting strategies and physical characteristics, excels as a top-level predator that controls the rodent population of the Famosa Slough. This bird particularly thrives in these areas because it is filled with small mammals and insects. Because the hawk is such a dominant predator, its overall diet is a crucial part of the food web in the Famosa Slough. The aerial attack and the perch attack are specialized to the red-tailed hawk because it favors its physical features. The aerial attack is one of the most efficient attacks the hawk can use. This is where the hawk is gliding up high in the sky above the feeding grounds, scanning for small mammals. Once it spots an animal, it dives down at speeds up to 120 miles per hour and grabs the animal with their large and sharp talons. Another technique that hawks tend to use is when they are perched up in a tree and just wait. This is called the perch attack. This strategy also works because they are in a hidden spot where no prey usually sees them so they can stalk their prey. Hawks tend to take any opportunity they can to hunt, and they will always go for the more challenging kill. These hunting strategies really complement the hawk's physical fit characteristics because of its strength and size. The hawk can gain speed quickly because of its wingspan that can grow up to 5 feet long, which allows the hawk to fly faster with more power and momentum. The talons of the hawk allow the bird to pick up small mammals and fly away without losing a grip. The red-tailed hawk is a carnivorous bird but it will also adapt to eat other types of food if it needs to. Its diet consists of 85% small mammals, but it also includes berries and insects. Its prey is not always the same. Their diet really depends on the season and what is available to the hawk. During winter in captivity, an average red tail will eat about 135 grams of food daily. There is no particular animal that the hawk likes to feed on, but this also includes bats, pigeons, quail, corvids, waterfowl, other raptors, fish, and crustaceans. They can also eat domestic pets like cats and dogs that are twice its weight. One of the reasons why there is such a variety of food for the hawk is because of the tidal changes throughout the day. Every day, the tide rises, which brings in mostly seawater. This is important for the hawk and other animals because when the tide lowers, it leaves nutrients that has flowed in through the river from the ocean. These provide nutrients, minerals, and oxygen that helps keep to keep the Famosa Slough a thriving habitat. It also works in favor for the birds like the hawk because it isolates the insects in the ground by drowning them out, making it easier for the birds to eat. The Famosa Slough is a really important habitat because it provides for many animals, but it is endangered because of the pollution and urban runoff. In San Diego, urban runoff is particularly bad, simply because of the lack of rainfall. Chemicals, toxins, and bacteria build up in the streets, and when it finally rains, the water goes to the lowest point, picking up all the toxins in the street. In Point Loma's case, all the water leads to the Famosa Slough. All the toxins are polluting into this pristine habitat, which contaminates the water. This is not beneficial because the toxins make it an unstable environment to sustain life, and without healthy animals and food, the hawk would not be able to thrive in these areas because of the contaminated food. Hawks are important to the local ecosystems because they control the small mammal population. They are also dependent on the local ecosystems in which they inhabit because they are constantly looking for ways to survive in this changing world. Without the tidal changes, places like the Famosa Slough will not be a thriving salt marsh that hawks will go to. This would be bad because without predators like the red-tailed hawk, the whole food web would be unbalanced. There would be an access of rodents and small mammals. Everything is good in moderation, and that is why there needs to be animals like the red-tailed hawk to help balance out the ecosystem.